In this lesson, we'll dive deeper in the proactive step-by-step -step link building process. And to help us do that is our link building tool. The link building tool is a simple but efficient solution to get ironclad ideas for expanding your backlink profile. It really helps you take three necessary steps to acquire links. To research for ideas, to outreach, and to track the results. Let's configure the tool and see what it will offer. First, you need to enter up to 10 keywords that you want to rank for. By default, the tool will provide you with suggested keywords, which you can remove if you'll find them irrelevant. Don't forget to change your target database and the drop-down menu at the top if need be as well. At the second step, you can enter up to 10 competitors to help SEMrush identify domains that provide most links to them. Like at the first step, the tool will make suggestions from the organic competitors report. Now that you've entered your target keywords and competitors, click the Start Link Building button. It may take several minutes for the tool to pull the data, but after that, you'll get to the overview report. There, you'll see the overall information of your new campaign, namely the number of prospects divided into five categories, the number of prospects you have to contact, the number of replies you've received, and the number of domains you're monitoring. Like in the Backlink Audit tool, you can connect your Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo accounts to be able to send emails right from the tool. To do that, click Add next to Mailbox and follow the instructions in the pop-up window. You can also integrate the tool with the Google Search Console account. This will help you pull more precise suggestions on your prospects by automatically marking already acquired backlinks. Go to the Prospects report to get the detailed list of backlink opportunities. You can see all of them in a single table, or you can switch over between prospects with different sources. These sources are organic search, competitors' backlinks, mentions of you and your competitor's brand name, or other keywords you've targeted that are found by SEMrush. Links from domains that you uploaded manually, lost backlinks, which are gathered from the backlink audit tool. To pick the most suitable and relevant link prospects and let you target your audience, you can apply multiple filters by URL type, like forums, blogs, news, etc. It's defined automatically, keyword, or TLD. If you decided to continue working with the prospect, just click the plus button to move it to the in progress list or you can send it to the list selecting your outreach strategy for this link, which is predefined scenario of acquiring the link. If a prospect doesn't suit you, click the X button to move it to the rejected list. To help you make a right decision on whether to keep a prospect or to reject it, the tool offers you its overall rating, as well as the detailed information for each project. Among others, there's a toxic rank, a metric that we've already got acquainted with earlier in this module. It represents at what extent a certain domain could be dangerous to your website. Once you've put together a list of your prospects, the time has come to reach out to them. Go to the In Progress tab and make sure you've connected your Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo accounts. By doing it, you'll be able to send and receive outreach emails from the automatically retrieved addresses, track responses, and monitor your status to see if a certain email was sent, open, read, or replied to. One notable feature is that you can manually add any domain you want to get a backlink from to your campaign. Hit the import button and start entering the desired domains. To start your outreach process, refine the list of prospects by applying various filters. For instance, you might want to make it as easy and convenient as possible. So choose only domains where SEMrush has found contact info by selecting with emails. Now it's high time to compose emails and send them to the addresses found by SEMrush. Click the Send button to get to the Email Template Editor. It will show a template based on the outreach strategy you've chosen. There are nine options to choose from. General, this strategy can be used when you want to compose your own email from scratch. Manual link, use this approach if you don't need to contact the website owner but still want to monitor the prospect. Directory, catalog, choose this strategy to request a link from a relevant directory or catalog. Add link to article, this option should be used in case there's an existing article about your business without linking to your website. Product review. With this strategy, you're going to ask your prospect to write a review of your product. Link from mention. Choose this option if you found a mention of your business without a backlink to your website. Guest post. When opting for this variant, you offer writing a guest post hoping to get a backlink in return. Recover lost backlinks. This strategy works if you lost a backlink and want to win it back by offering a relevant page to your site to link to. Custom. 
This option lets you add your own custom email template and outreach strategy. So all the emails are sent and eventually you notice that one of your prospects granted you a backlink. Now move it further through your workflow to the monitor list by checking this green box. Under the monitor tab, you'll see your new backlinks broken down into five categories, active, lost, broken, undefined, and rejected. The trend on the right will help you track how the backlink statuses have changed over the last 60 days. With the table below, you'll be able to keep a close eye on the backlinks from each category. While reviewing your active backlinks, you can filter them by several parameters, including GSC index, which shows whether a backlink is indexed by Google or not. To enable this filter, ensure that you've connected your Google Search Console account to the tool. You can try to retrieve the links that fell under the lost, broken, or undefined category by taking them back to your workflow and putting them on the in-progress list. Then, you have the possibility to import a domain that refers to your site in two simple steps. So, let's recap. This lesson was dedicated to the link building tool, which assists you along the path of turning prospects into valuable backlinks. Improve your knowledge by practicing the tool on your own, and don't forget consulting further materials and visiting our knowledge base and blog for more info.